everyone and welcome to the Fox 56 Sports Show driven by Toyota. I'm Erin Dugan. Thank you for joining us tonight. We start the show in Bradford County. Next week, the big bronze helmet trophy rivalry game live on MyTV, WQMY between Tawanda and Wyalusing. Bob I will preview that game tonight. We'll feature Wyoming area freshman Brianna Pisano, the first tennis player in school history to win a district title. You'll meet Hunter Thomas in this week's Get to Know, the Southern Columbia senior running back a huge part of the Tigers' success this season. And finally, a performance from the Lock Haven University marching band. We'll start with that preview of next week's bronze helmet matchup. Bob I got a chance to catch up with both teams this week. Why Lucing has what Tawanda wants back. The bronze helmet trophy given to the winner of the football game each year between the Rams and the Black Knights. We had it for a long time and then last year just got beat and we're gonna get that back this year and so we can we could be the ones that started it back again. No no one wants to lose while losing. We that's our rival, we just wanna be better. Uh, we gotta go out there, play tough, play really good, like we like we should, and then just come out on top. Last one wins it. Definitely the atmosphere, both sides. It's probably the most, like, it's the loudest game. <laughs> Definitely is. Pretty intense, huh? Yes. Tawanda has held the advantage since the trophy was started to be given out in 1983. In that game, the Black Knights beat the Rams 12-6 in a snowy, wet November contest. Tawanda head coach Craig Dossie played in that initial game, and he knows what it means to both communities. I think it's huge. I just think anything why losing Tawanda. Yeah. I don't care if it's wrestling, volleyball, golf. I mean, it's just, it's just it's a great rivalry. It's always been a great rivalry, and it'll continue to be a great rivalry. And it, it's a clean rivalry. Mm -hmm. It's it's very well played. It's always hard played, but it's it's always clean. There's never I, it, there's never been a time where it's been dirty or anything like that. Which is which is good. Which is really good for both both teams and both schools. It brings both communities together. Uh, you know bragging rights for a year and it's just it's just it's it's a great atmosphere you know you go up there it doesn't matter if they're we're going there or they're coming here it's a great atmosphere uh, there's I mean our kids are we've been talking about for a couple of weeks the bronze helmet uh, we've had it for a whole year and, you know and it's just exciting you know we'll have a big pep rally that that day and uh, place to be rocking this season, while losing is eyeing a District 4 1A playoff appearance for the first time since 2010. The Rams, though, feel they're not playing up to where they want to be with a young team. In the beginning of the season, we just didn't really have any uh, top management in our senior class, and we, we've been working on that as the, years been, as the uh, season's been going by. So I think it's getting better. We're playing as a team more, so it should be a good future for us. We need to uh, play as a team and we need to go out there and just play around football. I don't think we're playing as well. We definitely have more to prove. We are. We do have a winning streak, but uh, it shouldn't be the way it is. We should definitely have more wins and losses. Oh No, we're playing good football. I mean, we could play a lot better. Mm -hmm. We're young, we have five seniors. So uh, we have a good gro uh, group of 11th graders and some good group of 10th graders, and they're contributing pretty well. But uh, you know, we're looking next year, hopefully they'll contribute a whole lot more with the experience they're getting this year, uh, you know, with only five seniors. But the five seniors we have are pretty good caliber uh, football players. While the playoffs are on the horizon for the Rams, the Black Knights missed last year's district playoffs, and they may be on the outside looking in this year. Tawanda started the season with 10 goals for the year. Get the program back on track is number one. Getting the helmet back is at the bottom. It's a big legacy. It's just so much behind it and there's so much history in the program and it's a lot of pride seeing all the fans out here and they just come out and they keep coming. You know we play hard every game which is something that's really important to us. Uh, we, we work more than the more than the scoreboard, that's not the most important thing. It's it's how we play and how we feel we play in the locker room that means the most. Coach Larkham, our offensive coordinator, has done a great job. Um, we've, we've, we've had to do some changes with things and, and eventually we've, we've got a, a freshman quarterback who's playing really well for us right now. And, and, and due to Coach Larkham, with, I think with his coaching, with the, with the freshman, he's doing absolutely outstanding. That gave us a chance to put Dalton Potter in other positions to get him on the field, to get him the ball in open space. And I think that's really opened up our offense a lot more. So a lot of that is just the credit to Coach Larkham and, and, and just, just his ability to take what he has and, and, and make it a lot better. I think, I think we're, we're 
kind of where we should be. I mean, you know, we, we have some some key people in key places, and, and of course, we're, we're developing kids at our at our younger levels. Mm -hmm. So really, I think the program is, is in a good place right now, and uh, you know, we just want to progressively get better as, uh, as we move on here through the years. So the Black Knights will try and get the Bronze Helmet Trophy back after a year hiatus when they host Wyalusing right here at the Endless Mountain Athletic Complex in Tawanda next Friday night. It's a game you can watch live on MyTV, WQMY, starting at 7 p.m. Up next, a big honor for a Wyoming area freshman. Win. It was really exciting because especially as a freshman, like you don't expect that. 